You see, time, everyone, time is so important in these days. We're gonna use it very carefully. For example, let's say you have a 3D model and you wanna texture it in Houdini without leaving Houdini. What do you do? Of course, we're gonna use Copernicus for that, but it might be challenging. Let me show you. Before that, stick with us. We have amazing contest at the end. Let's begin. Hi everyone, this is Dyson. Welcome to my channel. Okay, without further ado, let's begin. You see, we have these two uh, colors in here in constant, and we're gonna blend that using mask. You see? Oh, and uh, we have this object in sub level. What do you do? Of course, we have this uh, mask option, as you can see, mask by ambient occlusion, for example, and we need to rasterize that. You see, we have rasterized setup, rasterize uh, geometry, blah, 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 you see? This is so hard to do, of course, and as you can see, we have our blending mask. So this is so headache to do, honestly. But let me show you what we have for that. I hope you like it. Ready? Let's begin. Wow, that was our digital asset called Paint X. Amazing, right? By the way, we talk about that in this video. Make sure to watch it. As you can see, we have different mask variation in here. Smart mask, you can say. Mask by uh, name attribute. And we have this bleeding option, amazing. And we have curvature, ambient occlusion, directional for dust, etc. And you see, that's amazing. And we have uh, this uh, noise, noise uh, mask. And of course, you can blend this uh, mask by the layer. So I call that smart mask. You see that? This is amazing approach in one place. So let's say you have one texture and you want to extract different map from it. For example, normal map, height map, um, specular map, etc. What do you do? Of course, you can go online and we have amazing uh, website extracting normal map displacement map from one texture and from that you can of course import that one by one and you see you will have messy setup you see this is not ideal workflow to do that honestly we have amazing solution for that let me show you Wow, see that? We have one texture as you can see and with Paint X, we can uh, connect that to the background BG and out of the box, we have our normal map, specular map, height map, etc. Just with one node, imagine that. That's so awesome, honestly. Now we have our mask and our texture. How we can blend that using mask? Blending two texture using our mask. It's easy as you can see. You see, you need to uh, connect that to the FG, the second mask, and you can uh, select your mask by uh, in the mask section. And as you can see, we have this amazing result. And of course, you can adjust your height or displacement map, etc. It's doing all this map generation under the hood. So this is amazing. So now we have our texture and our result. What if I want to see my model in real light condition? Don't get me wrong, Vulcan is good. Yeah, kinda. But I need karma for this. How we can do that? Yeah, you may say we can do a rope image individually by this null and export all our texture and import that in karma solaris uh, context. But you see, it's so time consuming. You see, it's so much to do every time I need to see my model in real light condition. So, we have a cool solution for that. I'm so excited for this. Ready? Let me show you. Oh, you see, that's amazing. With 
Our Paint X digital asset, you can double click on it and dive in and you will see yourself in Solaris context. Just uh, make sure to pin your scene view and return back to the Copernicus. And as you can see in visualization Solaris, we have this uh, azimuth and holder, this amazing parameter. And make sure to use Karma CPU for now. I guess Karma XPU have a lot of work with uh, Copernicus. And we have this amazing studio lighting out of the box in here. Wow, this is amazing as you, as you can see. And we have this camera cinematic. This is amazing, you see. And we have this azimuth to uh, changing the light condition as you can see. And this is awesome. And you see, it's uh, so responsive. You can now uh, adjust your material section parameter, but with the uh, height, you need to restart your uh, render. I don't know, this is the limitation by side effects, I guess. And you see, this is awesome. You, you, you can change the focal length, f-stop for depth of field. And yeah, we have this uh, representation for each map. Wow, this is amazing just with one note. So this will make Paint X dev look tools too. Man, love it. And of course you can uh, change your rendering setting by pressing the D keyboard and you have this Karma default setting. Wow. So you see, if you like this kind of video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more content. Let's proceed. So what about exporting this map individually in Caponicus. Of course you can go with null for each output and you can create your rope node in here and you can explore that. But you see it's so messy workflow. We have amazing alternative for that. You see we have this amazing export section in here. You can pick the resolution and different map and of course you can pick the direction and the type of uh, the image and you can hit the right button in here. And as you can see, we have our maps. Amazing, just with one node, you can export different map in Caponicus. So we have another export option for Solaris. Amazing, you see, we have this button and you can pick your material library, the target material library, and you can create your material. Of course, this material, it's amazing. It will do all the setup for you. This all import of this uh, image, sorry, uh, the node, Caponicus node. You have the base and it will set up your, uh, all the reference, you see that? And as you can see, in your Solaris, you have all the results. So guys, this is Paint X 0.2, amazing. We're gonna make it better and better in every version. And if you're interested, of course, it's available on my Patreon. I hope you like it, honestly. And big shout out for these amazing people on my Patreon. Thank you guys and have fun with our content. Okay, as I promised, we have small funny contest. I want to try something, honestly. I don't know if it will work or not, but yeah, let me see. If you want Paint X for free, all you have to do, just comment me, hashtag Paint X, and the highest liked comment, it will win Paint X for free. I will announce the winner at this. If you're interested, just leave me a comment. Okay, let me show you Paint X in the action. Let's assume we have this motorcycle reference. I wanted this look to my model. Okay, let's jump in. First, in this node, in textures, we have these two colors masked by this noise. You see this green and dark green. And in another node, we have uh, this awesome paint texture logo in here. We talk about that in this video, by the way. You see, I paint that in here, our logo. And I import the volume and uh, geometry to, to layer and blah, blah, blah. And I have this metalliness to this mask. You see, we have this metalliness just in the mask. Awesome. Because we have this metalliness, I want to uh, pass this data to the next one. You see, I connect the metalliness and uh, our base color. And in here, I just have this mask by the name for these objects and voila. Awesome. You see that? And another one, this one for the layers, as you can see in here. Okay. I uh, create this uh, leathery look 
in this node and I output the base color to this, you see? And I have this mask for these two objects. Amazing, you see that? And let me show you, I have this mask. So I uh, pass this data to the next one, as, as you can see, and then here, I have this metalness, you see, for this object. Amazing. I create the noise, you see, the overlay noise, and I mask that by the name object, you see that? And of course, you see, I mask that in here, and I multiply the mask. Awesome. In the next one, of course, we have this metalness to the pipes by filtering this mask in here and this metalliness and voila you see wow charming <laughs> love it honestly and you see this is without metalliness and this with metalliness from the mask you see and this is all driven by texture guys not material uh, adjustment cool and you see that you can change the light condition here and you can see your uh, object and of course, this is with operation. It will take so long, so I speed up the uh, video. And in here, in the last one, I have this amazing uh, mask. Let me show you. Mask by ambient occlusion. This is overall look for the dusty look, you see. This is the ambient occlusion, and I connect this texture, you see. It will do all the crop uh, on the hood. And as you can see, let me show you the base color. And you see, we have some dirt or rusty effect underneath. You see in here, it's there. And this is how you can use Paint X, you see. And if you Karma lets you work probably this is so responsive you see you can go to every node in the stream and change the data for example i changing i'm changing these colors in here on the first node and you see all this network will update simultaneously you see that and this is our uh, texture when you export that boy awesome honestly so with that have fun guys goodbye